<laughs> Bro! <laughs> Why does this box look like it just got urinated on? <laughs> a Pokemon, I, I mean, I get it, I guess. Trying to switch up the style a bit, but it's not working for me. I'm not about it. I don't like it. I am so hyped to open this right now. I'm not even going to do some sort of elaborate intro. It's just me. What up? My broskies, I'm Boo. How do you do? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am Boo. This is my son. He's very cute. All of my Darkness Ablaze product has been provided to me by flipsidegaming.com. If you guys don't know, they're one of my sponsorships on this channel. You can get 10% off by using code POKEBOO. Also, Potown Store, another one of my sponsors. You can use code POKEBOO to get 5% off all of the code cards on there for all my online TCG bros that I love and respect so much. But still, I could probably wreck you in TCG. I mean, what? I'll also be doing a live stream for Poe Town Store on their Facebook page, so make sure you follow them. I'm going to be doing it sometime after the release of Darkness Ablaze. We're going to be opening like 200 Darkness Ablaze packs and any of the polls that I get from there, we're going to be giving out to you guys, to the chat, so you can come chill with me live and you can get some super sweet Darkness Ablaze cards. I mean, that's like super cool. <laughs> All right, my little Swedish meatballs. I'm pretty sure that is all I have to say. So let's get into opening this. Actually, wait, wait. Before I get into opening this, I want to trust the only thing in this world that I trust to bless this booster box for good pulls. The number one spiciest pulls. I'm notorious for having terrible pulls on my first booster box out of a new set. So I, I think I want to turn the tables today and there's only one thing I trust in this world to do that. All right, guys, we're about to get this booster box blessed by the one and only <gasps> Mr. Pancake. So cute. <laughs> Shake your cute little body on it, Mr. Pancake. Get a little cute little triple pounder. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening here? Chuck Norris and Wesley Snipes are on top of each other. I don't know. I don't I don't know what's going on there. But bless it. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> All right, my fellow anime nerds, it's time to do 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 our darkness oh boy. <laughs> I drank an entire cup of coffee before this and Mistakes. Mistakes were made. Um, people ask me all the time, they're like, Boo, what do you take before you film these videos? Like, what are you on? Um, that obviously doesn't help me in my skills of opening boxes, I guess. This is just, like, plastic wrap. And I'm struggling. <laughs> okay, you guys. 36. Pacaroni and cheeses. Buckle in. Grab your snacks. Grab your snackies. This is gonna be telling for how the rest of the box is gonna go. Okay, so get ready. Get re get ready. Skitty, we got a cute skitty. Oh, see, oh my gosh. I'm gonna try to not freak out. Oh my gosh, they have a Dunsparce? Bro, where's my cult Dunsparce community at? I know you guys are out there. I've seen ya. I've seen ya. I don't know what the obsession is about Dunsparce, but you let me know. <laughs> I'm not really sure. We got a cute little shiny clink. Reverse Hello Marini. And I'm gonna close my eyes. Oh my god! Yes! Okay, that means that means this is gonna be a good box, you guys. First pack, not whack. Salamance V Max. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I've only seen the proxy version that I printed out for one of my Salamance decks, but now I'm holding the real card. <laughs> I figured since this is our first Darkness Ablaze booster box, I would do something kind of special. 
super special for you guys and do some super high res video of our good polls. So get ready for that, here it comes! This is a super solid card in my opinion. Uh, the Salamance and the Salamance VMAX do spread damage across the board uh, and they're colorless as well so you can use it as a welder deck. So you can just use fire energy and welder on to the Salamance and the Salamance VMAX, charge this dude up super quick and hit for a ton of damage. You can also use the new powerful colorless energy card uh, paired with the Salamance, which hits for even more damage. So you're doing spread damage and then you're doing a ton of damage once you stack some energies on to the Salamance and Salamance VMAX. Super all around bomb card. I definitely think it's going to see quite a bit of play. Oh my gosh, I just got so scared because I thought that my program had stopped recording and I thought I totally just missed the entire first pack. But we're good. We're good. Going into pack number two, my broskies. <laughs> All right, Fireball Energy, Lunatone. Oh my gosh, you know what? This, I'm scarred. I'm scarred by this Pokemon now. If you guys saw my last video, I don't want to relive it. Um, Boo can't pronounce Pokemon names. Uh, Reverse Hollow. Wait, sorry, what? cry myself to sleep at night okay <laughs> i'm never i'm not even gonna say i'm never saying this pokemon's name again ever <laughs> poopatar dunsparce electric galarian mr mime nightmare fuel grime are reaching out trying to give you a high five <laughs> clink we are getting so many of these clinks what the hey uh q font reverse holo so yet to see a reverse holo rare, yeah, but that's all right. And <gasps> Serena, I'm gonna have to start picking up the pace here. Otherwise, we're gonna be here all day. Eyeball energy, open in packs here. Billowing smoke, Squovet, Spinorak, spinning his web, Larvesta, Hippopoto toss, Golet. Reverse hollow pink curtain. Dude, they decided to do that upward angle this time because they didn't want to show off his his little booty cheeks. But you can kind of still see him. No booty cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, <gasps> Hoopla! Dude, Hoopla! <laughs> hoopla! Sounds like a lot of Hoopla! <laughs> oh, snap! Wait! Pincurchin is also a rare, so we got a reverse holo and a holographic. Heck yeah, man. That is what I like to see. Water drop energy, Simseer. I feel like I always get a ton more videos on uh, the new sets that I film when they first come out. So if you're new to the channel, hello, so good to meet you. If you guys are new to opening booster boxes, uh, you're not really guaranteed things out of booster boxes, but you can kind of gauge what's a good and a bad booster box. So if you get like six pulls, six or seven pulls, that's pretty average for a booster box. And by pulls, I mean like hyper rare and above. So I don't really count the hollow rares usually as pulls. Um, I have got a 10 box before one time, which was bananas, absolutely bananas. Also, if you get a secret rare out of one of these boxes, very spicy, pretty solid box. If you get two secret rares, bah, bah, buy yourself a lottery ticket. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, we got Clang, Clink and Clang, and <gasps> Suicune, what? Magical, mystical, why do I feel like I've seen this art? Dude, I think I opened the Japanese version of this card. <gasps> I'm pretty sure I did. I don't know what set this dude was in in the Japanese set, but I'm pretty sure I've seen that artwork before because I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, oh my god. I've also been thinking about doing a video on how I sort my cards. So if you guys eyeball energy want to see that or have any interest in struggle gloves, <gasps> let me pull my struggle gloves real quick, you guys, for my struggle bus life. <laughs> Struggle gloves, I love that. Oh my gosh, we got the fire chicken, killer chicken boy, jigglypuff, looking adorable, diglet, super angry, pan poor, spin a rack. But yeah, anyway, if you guys want to see how I organize my cards, oh, that's a rare. Ha! Reverse hollow tyranitar, rare roni, and. Ugh, <gasps> uh, gothitelg. 
Gothi Gothito? Gothito? It's just like anytime I say a Pokemon name wrong now, people are just like, oh my god! What the? What a poser, dude! Why does she even have this channel? She doesn't even know Pokemon! Oh! <laughs> So it's honestly so funny to read them because like I roast myself all the time. I'm like, I suck. <laughs> I kind of suck. I'm kind of just this Ampharos chilling. This is me reading my YouTube comments now. I'm like, what up? Roast me bros. <laughs> this is actually such a cute artwork. Reverse holo rare broskies. We got another reverse holo rare Ampharos and... <laughs> Bowl Corona, dude. I'm hyped about the amount of reverse holo rares I've been get getting lately. Cause like, if I'm gonna play an evolution deck, you know for a fact all my bros are gonna be reverse hollows. It's just facts. Oh, <gasps> a a Ron. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I gazed into his beautiful blue baby eyes and I cannot look back. <laughs> I've seen the light. I have seen the light. Oh my gosh, that Rowlet is adorable. I love it. Reverse holo Torchic. And... <gasps> oh! <laughs> the rogues! Here we go. I guess this kind of works, because now I can show you guys the Salamance V paired with our beautiful Salamance V Max. His dad. <laughs> This card, as I was saying before, swoop across is his move that hits 30 damage to everything just across the board on your enemy. And then Heavy Storm does 160 for four colorless energy. So that's not really that great. Uh, I would say you're only going to be using swoop across and then evolving into the VMAX and attacking with the VMAX from there. This is a go second type of deck because if you go second, you can welder and attach on your first turn that you take and then you attack first as well so you're doing a nice big swoop across on your enemy's board and just knocking bros out if they have little evolution lines they're trying to evolve into nah not today uh if you want to tick down some of their v or v max damage that'll help you in the long run in the long con the long game so still solid solid card and we pulled the bros am i gonna build a salamance deck i think it's gonna happen you guys, I really do think it's gonna happen. It's just, it's kind of a given. Uh, Cause I already loved the Salamance deck and I really wanted to, wow, that is an adorable artwork actually. <gasps> Look at that. I told you, Nick, it was a thief. They're stealing your fruits and veggies. Facts. <laughs> Bounce sweet, snubble looking like a Mr. Grumpy Pants, Meltan, oh my gosh, I love Meltan, Skarmory Reverse Holo, one of the very few times I've seen Skarmory not be a rare, which is interesting, I feel like he's usually always rare, and <gasps> Clink Clank, <laughs> I don't even know if I said that, Clink Clang, Clink Clang, Clink Clang, oh my gosh, I don't know how to say this bro's name, honestly, I, I don't really even like this Pokemon, if I'm being honest. I feel like, oh god, now the Clink Clang bros are gonna come after me. I swear, dude, every time I insult a Pokemon, like, all the Clink Clang lovers get into my comments, and they're just like, yo, say that about Clink Clang again. See what happens. Do it. <laughs> say it, boo! You know you like Clink Clang! <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm so surprised that dude's not rare. I don't know why I'm like tripping over that. <laughs> get out of here, Clink Clang lovers. Okay, get out of here. Sim Smear. I don't even know if I said the dude's name right. Uh, Pampor. I really like that they did all the cute little colorful monkeys in this set. I'm a huge fan of that. Uh, Galarian Mr. Mime Nightmare Fuel. And <gasps> Hydrigo. <laughs> so who's ready for uh, sanctioned events to open back up again? Anybody? Anybody? Just me? I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> hey, hey, Ron, so cute. Cub two, Rowlet. Dude, I feel like this is the new rhythm, you guys, because I think we got that exact thing. Because I remember pulling a, a Ron, and I was like, he's cute. And then Cub two, I was like, he's pretty cute. And then it was cute little Rowlet. So I feel like that's the new, that's the new pack right there. Uh, Lugia. <gasps> This bro's a rare, yes. Oh my gosh, look at that artwork. Wow, that is really pretty. And <gasps> hip and down. Every day I just sit at home and I'm like, I can't wait till I can play a competitive Pokemon. It's my dream. 
It's my happy place. I cannot wait. Marini Meltan Reverse Hollow and <gasps> why does this card look so out of place? He's like he's like three dimensional. This is like CGI Flygon right here. <laughs> it doesn't look like a normal Pokemon artwork. Oh man, that's funny. That's funny. I'm real, real curious about what our secret rare is gonna be. I'm actually quite scared as well. I'm hoping. Oh, I'm hoping for a secret rare supporter, actually. That's probably what I'm hoping for. Because uh, those are usually pretty up there in price in the sets, uh, depending on which one you pull, of course. Uh, or I guess a secret rare uh, Eternatus as well, even though I absolutely hate that deck and I don't want to play that deck. Eternatus secret rare is probably going to be pretty, pretty, pretty pricey. So that'd be a good one. Rokity, reverse holo, and... <gasps> My boy! Yes! This is the second one I pulled. I also pulled one out of my pre-release pack. So I am so happy about this guy. I'm building this in a deck. If you guys didn't already know, I am kind of a sucker for fire decks. I know. I can't. I went to the dark side. I'm a traitor. I'm trash. <laughs> I'm hot welder garbage, okay? And I play fire decks, and this is my boy. My cute little sizzly peed boy. Pretty much how Centiscorch rolls is he's one of those decks where you're going to be maining Centiscorch V Max rather than Centiscorch V. But there have also been plenty of games where I've used his first move, the Radiating Heat, to just discard energies uh, early game to kind of get some into your discard pile for later and also hinder your opponent as well. That's super helpful. But the VMAX sent to Scorch hits 40 damage per fire energy attached to it. And then after you hit that move, you also take an energy from your discard pile and attach it to your sent to Scorch VMAX that just attacked. So it's bomb. You're just charging up your own energies to hit harder and harder each turn. And then you can just buff him out so that he's an absolute monster. Give him a bunch of HP and uh, hope for the best, pretty much. Take some really, really big knockouts because you're attaching a ton of energy each turn. So that is my baby. That's the deck I'm, I'm gonna be playing. Let me know if you guys like this sort of format, I guess. Me giving the little baby explanations as well as showing you guys a little bit more of the detail on the card so you kind of get the best of both worlds. Uh, if not, that's cool too. I, I like any sort of feedback on my videos. Reverse Hollow Rose Tower and... <laughs> Dracovish, my cute little bumblebee. Is he? Is this a fish with legs? Yo, what? Actually, I actually haven't even looked at this card up close. <laughs> are those fins or are they wings? And he's a fish, but he has legs. Pokemon. Coming at you with another pack, another electric energy, Pulte Geist. My chicken boy, my, my super cute chicken boy, Sinistee. Carablast, Meltan, Marini, Starly, the cursed Pokemon, and <gasps> Nightmare Fuel again. Yay! <laughs> I'm just not a big fan of clowns, I guess. Okay, 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 you guys. Hello. Um, this is Editing Boo. How are you guys doing? <laughs> I'm having a bit of a breakdown right now because I was just watching this back while I was editing and are mimes clowns? Are clowns mimes? Are they the same? I mean, they're not the same. They're different. But like, is a mime a type of clown? Oh, bro, I don't... Bro, I don't... I actually don't know. Oh my god, they're different. They're different. <laughs> oh my god. Especially ones that are like, looking like... Mr. Mr. Peanut over there. <laughs> Old PC. Heat Energy. Gothita. Skarmory. Kupchu. Wimpod. Looking so cute. <laughs> Bunnelby. Delcaddy. Oh, is that a rare? Yes. Reverse Hollow Rare. Look at that. Diva. <laughs> Diva Delcaddy. Oh, so cute. And <gasps> Muck. My bro, looking like he's having a rough day. I'm such a big fan of all these reverse hollows. I love it. Fireball energy, Aridos, billowing smoke, Shelmet, 
I still have not hit a turbo patch as far as trainer cards. I've not hit a turbo patch. That's really upsetting. I've hit like a couple bird keepers. Uh, those are two trainer cards I'm really, really looking for. Also, as many of these cute Teddy Ursas as possible. My Sailor Moon looking super cute though. <laughs> I can't. I can't, you guys. Tortic, Poltegeist, Reverse, Hollow. I thought that was a rare. It was not. And... <gasps> oh my god! I wasn't expecting that! I wasn't expecting that, dude! A full art, Rose. Oh my gosh, this card is gorgeous. This card is gorgeous, and I don't think this counts as our secret rare as well, because it's not a secret rare. So, I've had boxes before where I've pulled a full art supporter, and I've also pulled a secret rare, and those are really, really good boxes. So, I'm hoping, oh my gosh, this has given me so much hope right here. Full art rose, I love you. You do look like you're trying to sell me some sort of Armani suit, not gonna lie. Uh... <laughs> It just looks like a sleazy sale man to me. He's like, oh, did you like test driving that Tesla? <laughs> Yo, the texture on this car, dude. Wow. Wow. So this is kind of a weird niche card. One way I have seen it used is in a Salamance deck. You just have to discard two of the fire energies somehow, either with like quick balls or uh, to a Dedene or something along those lines. And then if you use the rose in a different turn, uh, then you attach those two energy and power up one of your VMAXs and then discard your hand. And I've also seen it paired with the rose tower. And what that says is once during each player's turn, you draw cards until you have three in your your hand. So potentially you could activate the rose, attach the energies, discard your hand, use rose tower, the stadium to draw three cards, and then say you draw a quick ball or um, maybe just a crowbat or a Dedene in hand, and then you could play that to draw more cards or just discard again and draw a fresh six with a Dedene change. There's a couple ways you can play it. I don't think it's going to be a super crazy played card, but I like it. I love the artwork, so I'm hyped about this card. I'm not going to lie, you guys. I'm kind of bummed right now i'm i'm kind of bummed but i'm kind of not bummed um eyeball energy because we did we did get the scent squirts which i need and the salamance which i also need for decks and but we haven't hit a crowbat yet and i feel like if we don't hit a crowbat oh i'm gonna be so bummed i'm gonna be so bummed i need like eight crowbats uh i need two play sets of them possibly more as well uh, which is why he's my bro. He's up there chilling. I need, I need that crowbat, dude, for play. So I want to, I just want to pull as many crowbats as possible. Like, I don't know why they chose crowbat to be such a staple card, but <laughs> there you go. It's all you crowbat lovers out there. Your boy, your boy's getting play. He's an expensive little goober. Uh, Corvus Squire, reverse hollow, and <gasps> Talon Flame Turkeyber. <laughs> All the birds are turkey boys. We got two turkey boys here. Darkness ablaze. Fist bump energy. Big parasol. Heck yeah. Piers. Heck yeah. Two solid trainers. I'm happy about that. Mr. Mime. Electric. Dino. Passimian. Larvester reverse hollow. <gasps> Golek. Scorch, my boy. Getting some love on that pack art. I dig it. A little Scorch. Fried piece of bacon, boy. Fireball energy. Relicanth. Yellhorn. Ursa ring. Ooh, I'm going too fast here. Skarmory. Cupju. Wimpod. Adorable. Bunnelby. Oh, reverse holo. Baby turkey boy. And. <gasps> Escavali. <laughs> I'm trying to think like what other Pokemon or V cards or decks that I kind of want to pull. Oh, Vika Volt. Vika Volt as well. That's probably going to be a really popular uh, deck, unfortunately. I don't even want to. I don't even want to explain it right now. If we pull a Vika Volt, I'll explain it to you guys. But I, I don't even want to think about it right now because I, I literally have nightmares about the Vika Volt deck. Um, <laughs> I hate it. Uh, <laughs> reverse Hollow, Father of AA Ron and. <gasps> Granbull! Okay, so I love Snubble, but Granbull? Not a fan. <laughs> he just reminds me of like, someone that'd be in like, a biker gang. And then I just think of that Road Rash game on N64 where you like hit each other. <laughs> 
do my train of thoughts. You guys, it's shenanigans. You you don't even want to know. Face bump energy. We're getting closer to the end of this box. I'm trying to go a bit faster. Pam porn is killer rainbow. Teddy Ursa, Rookie D, Vanilla, Reverse Hollow. Wow, that was a bit too fast there. Uh, Hydragon. I'm actually okay pulling all those Hydragons because I feel like that's actually going to be somewhat of a good card in some deck. I'm not sure what deck. I don't know where or how it's going to fit, but I, I dig it. I dig that card. Uh, Passimian. <gasps> no, I thought it was a rare. Dang. Reverse Hollow, Passimian, and. <gasps> Bear tick, fireball energy. Oh my gosh, this just reminds me. Taco, I opened up the mail today and Taco had ordered like a hundred dollars of uh, energies to just bling out our decks <laughs> with. <laughs> They're just shiny, pretty energies for our decks. This is the difference between me and Taco, right? Taco loves blinging out his decks. He loves it. He'll spend money on it. And I'm just like, I'll play with spaghetti cards. I will play with cards that have spaghetti on them. <laughs> like, I do not care. If I had the option for the lesser expensive card for a deck, I will choose that any day of the week. Wimpod Reverse Hollow. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like, I like playing with shiny cards. Don't get me wrong. I like Reverse Hollows, but I'm not going to like bling out an entire deck just because I'm just like, I can't. I will feel so bad playing it, honestly. Reverse Halloween Pod and <gasps> Right Period! Dude! My punchy boy! So I'm not really sure how much play this card is going to see, but I do think it's going to be somewhat relevant because it is a fist bump of fighting Pokemon uh, and both Dark and Electric, which I think are going to be some of the main decks in this upcoming format, are weak to fighting. So if you do like Rhyperior as a Pokemon, go ahead and play his deck. He's going to be relevant in one way or another. Uh, and yeah, he's a drill bro. I do enjoy how Pokemon sticks to like somewhat of themes uh, with their Pokemon. Like, ooh, another bird keeper, yes. Like steel Pokemon are like really uh, resistant in damage. They're like walls, you know. Fire Pokemon are very aggressive decks usually that hit for a lot of damage. Uh, things like that. All the ground fighting Pokemon are all like we dig in the ground and do spicy things. <laughs> I don't know. They all have like common themes that usually go with them. Like usually the psychic uh, kind of like sometimes have poison Pokemon that go with them. So I do like that in the TCG. Reverse Hollow Simipore. Uh, uh, that's no, not a rare. Not a rare. And <gasps> Caparaja. Oh. Guys, we're getting down. We're getting down and dirty in this box right now, and we only have five pulls, so I feel like the rest of this box should be pretty hype. Let's hope. Let's hope. Diglett, Reverse Hollow, Galarian, Mr. Rhyme. Is this our second one? Oh, no. Okay, so I think we got... No, I guess... I don't know. Reverse Hollow, Nightmare Fuel. I thought we already pulled this dude, but I think we just pulled the regular one of him. And... <gasps> Amphoro, so cute. Lounge him. I love this card. So we did get a reverse holo rare, even though I don't like him very much. Uh... <laughs> Water ball energy. <gasps> Finally! Turbo patch! I'm like so hyped. I'm so hyped right now. This is the first turbo patch. I pulled one in out of four pre-release kits, and this is the second one I've pulled. So these things are hard to come by. I don't know why they're so hard to come by, but I'm so, this has to be a good pack. This has to be a good pack because we finally got a turbo patch. I'm so hyped about that. That's our second one. Oh my gosh. What? Dude, one turbo patch out of a whole box? Oh my gosh. I'm going to be so upset if we don't pull anymore. <laughs> uh, Q finds reverse holo, semi seer, and last but not least. <gasps> oh my god, dude. Dude! What did I say, you guys? What did I say? What did I say? It was either going to be a secret rare uh, trainer. Wait, oh my gosh. <gasps> that means we got a full art trainer and a secret rare. Eternatus VMAX, which is going to be one of the most expensive cards in this set. Dude, we got the full art and the secret rare. Eternatus. 
Wow, I could not have picked a better box. I could not have picked a better box to open for our first video. I'm so happy. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> this Eternatus VMAX, a deck that I absolutely hate pretty much. I'm not a fan of Eternatus. Um, I know I was super hyped for that poll, but not because I like the Pokemon. I think this thing looks like an absolute catastrophe. Looks like a total dumpster fire of a Pokemon. I can't even tell what it is. I really can't. <laughs> But this is going to be one of the most insane decks. I'm not looking forward to playing it at all because its attack is only two energies. One is dark and one's colorless, and it does 30 damage for each of your dark Pokemon in play. But its ability allows you to put up to eight dark Pokemon on your bench, or just eight Pokemon in general, but usually they're going to be dark because that'll help you hit more damage. So it's just a purely all dark deck. You're only going to be playing dark Pokemon in this and you're going to be hitting for a ridiculous amount of damage on your like first turn uh, because you're going to have nine dark Pokemon in play at the maximum and you're doing 30 damage per those Pokemon. It's, it's going to be horrible. I'm not looking forward to it uh, whatsoever because I don't know if you guys know, but Pokemon Search is not that hard. It's really not. And you know what Pokemon are really good right now? You got Crobats. You got Zigzagoons that do spread damage. You got the Hoopa. Those are all dark Pokemon. Uh, all dark support. You're playing an all dark deck. <laughs> I My first deck I played was a... Uh, actually, no. It's like my first deck was a water deck. But then in the updated format, I started playing a dark deck. And I loved it. I called it Black Mamba. One of the reasons I call all the dark energies Black Mamba energies now, because that was my boo. I love that deck so much. Reverse Hollow Lunatone and <gasps> Agron, A.A. Ron's grandfather. <laughs> but yeah, I'm kind of a sucker for dark Pokemon. I'm not going to lie. Like ever since I played Black Mamba, I just have loved it. I'm just like, join the dark side. But now that I know like everybody's going to be playing this Eternatus, I'm just like... Ugh, call me a hipster, bro. But I don't want to play dark because I feel like everyone's going to be playing it. And then and then you're going to have people countering it and it's just like, oh, I don't want to deal with any of that. <laughs> A.A. Ron looking so cute. Reverse hollow ducklet. Oh my gosh. I can't tell if this ducklet is just absolutely adorable or like he's seen some things. Last but not least, <gasps> Delcati! Non-holographic rare for us, but we got that cute little, that cute little ducklet. Man, this is actually such a good box. Like, even if we only have six pulls, which I feel like there's some more white packs in there. I think we have more pulls on the way. But even if we only had those six, like, they're such good cards that I wouldn't even be mad. I wouldn't even be mad. It's not like I'm pulling the Butterfree, you know? As long as I don't pull the Butterfree, I'm, I'm good. I'm solid. <laughs> Reverse hollow, snuffle, and what is this? My boy looking like he's got some sort of Nacho Libre mask on. <laughs> what is this? All right, you guys, coming down to our last couple of packs. Get your struggle gloves ready. Get them ready. <laughs> Hopefully we can hit another white pack. At least like one or two more, I would be happy. Pan Sage. <gasps> Spike Mooth, yes, Reverse Hollow Stadium, another one. So we got two Reverse Hollow Stadiums and <gasps> Mimikyu, yeah! I'm so happy with this. I definitely think this is going to be a played card. One of the reasons I think that Mimikyu is going to be somewhat used is because its ability stops you from healing your Pokemon on the bench. Uh, but that also applies to Malo and Lana, which is a... Uh, a uh, supporter card. Well, I don't know why I couldn't think of that. A supporter card that helps you um, heal. It switches and heals if you discard two cards, but it does the heal as soon as you move the Pokemon to the bench. So it stops you from using Malo and Lana heal, which I think a lot of decks are probably going to be rolling because these VMAXs have so much health that you just want to get it out of there and heal it up so you can go back out and fight with it again. So, oh my gosh! Reverse Hello Bird Keeper! Yes! Yes! I'm happy with this. Not only is it a bird keeper, 
but it's a reverse hollow as well. And <gasps> Tapu Koko! Holographic rare. So that is a white pack and it had the reverse hollow bird keeper. So I'm happy, happy about that. This box is actually pretty stellar. I'm, I'm actually so happy <laughs> with this box. Toxel, Skitty, Rowlet, so cute, Wishy Washy, Cufant, Reverse Holo, my boy, Wishy Washy, and <gasps> Pin Curtain, Booty Cakes. Oh my gosh, Pin Curtain, holographic rare. Can we do it? Can we do it, you guys? Can we get one or two more pull? I don't know about two. I don't know about two, but maybe, maybe one. Uh, if we get one more pull, I'm going to make Pound Cake bless all of my booster boxes because it has been so... Oof. Now I'm not feeling good about this. Now I'm not feeling good about this. Oh, the cursed Pokemon that I can never name again. And I'm going to close my eyes. <gasps> no! My boys! My boys! We did it! We did it! Not only did we pull the secret rare Eternatus VMAX, one of the best cards in this set, but we also pulled the V. The V, my boys! The V! <laughs> Wow, honestly, I didn't even realize how broken the first move on this Eternatus V is. One colorless energy and the attack does 30 and also allows you to attach an energy card from your hand to a bench Pokemon. You have an entire bench of dark poke. Oh gosh, I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> It's really pretty though. I mean, it's a pretty card, I guess. All right, my goobs. Last pack, of course, we're ending on a Black Mamba energy. Of course. Oh my gosh, what? We have not seen this dude yet. That is adorable. What a cute furret card. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Teddy Ursa, so adorable. Pansy. Oh, that's an alternate artwork of that one. Morlul. <gasps> Wishy Washy. Cute font. Dracovish, that's a reverse holo rare. Heck yes, we got his reverse holo rare, you guys. So hype. At least we ended it with a reverse holo rare. So even if this next card is nothing, it's still kind of good. <gasps> it's nothing. <laughs> These were incredible, incredible pulls. I love the consistency of the V and the VMAX and the V and the VMAX. So hyped about that. And then we also got the full art rose and one of the best cards and the spiciest rarities of it as well, the Eternatus VMAX. Wow, so pretty. My goobies, it's so late right now. I'm exhausted, it's been such a long day, but I'm about to go spend hours editing this video now because I wanna get it out for you guys as soon as possible. So thank you so much for sticking around. If you guys have watched this entire video, I appreciate it. It is so good to have you. I love you all so, so much. Thank you exponentially to all my Patreon peeps. It has been such a rough time lately, so you guys don't know how much any any little amount on the Patreon page helps. So I appreciate you so, so much. Thank you for keeping this channel going and supporting my content. We have so much more Darkness Ablaze content coming up, so stay tuned if you want to track all my super spicy pulls. I hate you, whoever's playing the Beak of Old deck. I hate you. <laughs> Just kidding, I love you. <laughs> and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Bye, bye, bye.